Docs Marine, open seven days a week from 8 to 5. Sales, rental, service, all in one place. It's at Docs Marine, 5803 Eichard Ridge Road. Good evening and welcome into the WHKY News for Friday, October 25th. I'm Ralph Mangum. You can catch the WHKY News every weekday on Over the Air TV on Channel 14.2 and on the Compass, SkyBest, Vibrant, TDS, and Comporium cable systems. We are also online at WHKY.com and on our YouTube channel. In today's top stories, voters continue to flock to the polls locally and across the state. WHKY's Rob Eastwood has the latest. According to a news release issued on Thursday by the North Carolina State Board of Elections, more than 2 million voters had submitted ballots in the state. That represents approximately 26% of the nearly 7.8 million registered voters in North Carolina. In Catawba County, 34,529 ballots had been submitted. Just under 30% of Catawba County's 116,179 registered voters had turned out. Alexander County showed 8,372 ballots as of Thursday. There are 25,689 registered voters in Alexander, and just under 33% had voted. Burke County's vote total was 17,451 on Thursday, approximately 29% of Burke County's 60,596 registered voters had submitted ballots. 17,857 votes had been submitted in Caldwell County. 32% of Caldwell County's 55,554 registered voters had submitted ballots. You can get much more on this by going to this story at our website, whky.com. Reporting from Hickory for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Thank you, Rob. WHKY's Ariana Mack has the details on a scam warning issued by a local law enforcement agency. The Burke County Sheriff's Office reports that they have been made aware of a scam. A local business contacted the Sheriff's Office to report that a scammer is using their name to scam customers. The business reports that someone called a customer representing themselves as the owner of the business. The scammer further stated he had gotten into an accident and was charged with a DUI and was letting the customer know that he would not make a meeting that had been scheduled for Wednesday. Wednesday, October 23rd. The scammer further stated he paid his bail and then asked the customer to loan him $4,000 to $5,000, which is what he had to pay out of pocket for his bail. The customer recognized it as a scam, hung up on the caller, and reached out to the business to advise them of what had happened. If you received a call from someone representing themselves to be from a business and it seems suspicious, hang up and look up the business phone number independently from caller ID or any information provided by the caller. Then contact them directly to verify the legitimacy of the call you received. The sheriff's office says there is nothing wrong with independently verifying information you receive and a legitimate business will not fault you for doing so. Much more information at whky.com. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana. Burke County government in collaboration with FEMA reminds individuals that answering phone calls from FEMA representatives is critical for receiving disaster assistance and also to be aware of scammers during this time of disaster recovery. FEMA representatives are currently calling individuals who have applied for disaster assistance. The phone calls may come from unknown area codes or phone numbers. The numbers may be marked as potential spam or no caller ID. It's important that those who have applied for disaster assistance answer every call. Scammers often prey on disaster areas. To avoid being scammed, look out for people claiming to be FEMA representatives who call even though no application for disaster assistance was filed. Ask for banking information. Actual FEMA representatives never ask for banking information or any other personal financial information. Or they say that money is owed and try to collect payment. Actual FEMA representatives never request payment. To ensure that calls are from an actual FEMA representative, call the FEMA helpline at 800-621-3362. Legitimate FEMA representatives are currently calling residents following up on applications for assistance, including issues with applications such as missing documentation or insurance settlement paperwork, 
issues with access and functional needs, and to schedule inspections of reported damage. The inspections are required to determine if a home is safe, sanitary, functional, and accessible. Delaying an inspection slows down the application review process. Anyone with knowledge of fraud, waste, or abuse should report the information to the FEMA Fraud Disaster Hotline by calling 866-720-5721. The hotline is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Fraud may also be reported by email at stopfemafraud at fema.dhs.gov. Anyone who believes they are victims of a scam related to Helene should file a complaint with the North Carolina Department of Justice by visiting ncdoj.gov slash complaint or by calling 877-566-7226. And I would add that even though that information came to us in a press release from Burke County, I'm sure it all holds true regardless of where you live. In today's crime report, Rob has the details as a man involved in a shooting at a Hickory pub last year has been sentenced to prison. Ariana has three Caldwell County arrests as suspects face charges for larceny, trafficking, B&E, and more. In local sports today, Jason has volleyball from our high schools and from App, and a Hickory High grad scores as App State women's soccer gets a big win. In Community Focus, a woodworking show at the Hickory Metro Convention Center, and Rob has the details on several workforce and business development grants awarded in Alexander County. More beautiful weather today as highs reach the mid-70s. Mostly sunny again tomorrow with a high around 80. There is a 25% chance of a shower late in the afternoon and into the evening tomorrow. Cooler Sunday with a high only around 60. It'll start to warm up again during the early part of next week, reaching the 70s again by Tuesday or Wednesday. Overnight lows will be in the 40s Sunday night and Monday night. Otherwise, look for lows in the 50s. Visit WHKY.com for an up-to-date weather forecast anytime you need it. I'm Ralph Mangum, and you are watching the WHKY News.